I know a lot of children dream of becoming astronauts. Did you have the same aspirations as a child or is that something that came later in life for you? Uh, what did inspire you to apply to be a NASA astronaut? Yeah, I wasn't always in these shoes, right? But I definitely wanted to get into them. And so my first exposure to NASA was definitely through the shuttle program and getting to see the shuttles, you know, on TV, see them launch. And then I was very lucky growing up in Southern California to get, get to go to a couple of shuttle landings. And I think that when you see, when you see that live, uh, it's pretty inspiring and you, and you see what's happening and you just like wonder, like, what does that take? Like, what does it take for me to be in that ecosystem, to be that person? And then to, you know, over time, start to ask more questions, ask your science teachers, you know, ask your parents, um, you know, what are the types of jobs people have? And you start to learn that NASA is a lot of engineers, certainly scientists too. Um, and then, and, and that's the, the base that you learn, but then you're like, oh my gosh, there are so many people doing so many things that enable human spaceflight, right? It's not just engineers and scientists, it's people that are experts in geology and language and um, every other uh, field you could even imagine. And so then it just becomes like what you're curious about and where you want to spend your time and energy and where you're excited uh, to study. And so uh, for me, it was being inspired and then um, and then staying curious over the years and, and excited about all the things that I still had to learn. Oh, I love that so much. Something that's so important to me is making sure that everyone knows there's so many different avenues to get into space or to work at NASA. Um, so I, I love that. 